John Saigon, would you like to say something? Uh, Paula, how many people here have seen John Saigon's video, The uh, the Elephant in the Room? Yeah, yeah. yeah. How many have seen it? Okay. Now, I, I'd like to ask John if he'll give us an update because there's been a response from uh, from uh, a nudge from uh, Heroes. Okay, everybody hear me? Yeah. All right, again, I wasn't prepared to speak either. Uh, thanks for supporting the video. I just wanted to get the, the word out there for the fellow members as to what's going on. And uh, I get support for what we need to do to, to uh, you know, get a contract that we can all live with. Now, this other guy, David, has put out some information. Uh, he's, he's tried to do a breakdown of the cost per thousand of running on the Internet and try to explain why the industry isn't making any money and uh, why we really shouldn't be asking for any right now. And Tom, Tom Hanks knows about your video because he sent the link to me. Yeah, Tom Hanks is even sending the link around, but he's sending it in concert with the other guy because the other guy he believes is the answer. And the other guy is not the answer. First of all, his numbers in the video are wrong. I have verified this with the companies who actually place the ads. And they say, no, they're not getting zero, 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 point, half a penny, and all the crap that he's saying in his video. He's wrong. He's drinking the Kool-Aid. I understand it. He's, you know, he's working for NBC right now. He's got to do that. I get that. Um, the bottom line is, for all of us, this is not, this is not brain surgery, guys. They don't want to pay us residuals anymore. There are two fundamental problems with that. One. They assume they own us once they've taken our photograph. Right. That's right. wrong. And it will never be okay. And and people like Robert De Niro, who signed that list and said, you know, we should settle, is now in a lawsuit because they took something out of the movie he did and turned it into an ad, and he's suing him for ten million dollars. Uh, so Robert De Niro gets it. He just doesn't understand our contract because he doesn't have to live with it. That's my problem with Hanks. That's my problem with Sally Field, Alec Baldwin, all the guys that don't have to live with this. We have to live with it. So we have to make sure that it's right. Um, and that's it. That's all I want to talk about it is, is, is that we've got to get together. We all have to make sure everybody understands this. When they run something on the Internet, right now they're not making a lot of money. Anybody remember when they weren't making a lot of money in cable? Oh yeah, yeah. oh yeah. yeah They're doing okay, okay now, huh? Oh yeah. Are we doing okay in cable? No. 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 Anybody remember DVD and VHS? Oh, Never yeah. going to make a penny. Are we ever going to make our money from that? Yeah. No. no. No, we're not. We're not even asking anymore. In this contract, we don't even ask. Right. We ask for a 15% P&W uh, contribution. That's all we ask for. And they said no to that. Right. So, you know, we're not going to get it unless we we stand up for ourselves and demand it. And if we don't, this union is going to become right. a hobby. It's not going to be a living. Right. It's not going to be a living. Well, hopefully, maybe right. not. Right. Well, I'll put, I'll put it to you this way. Vote no. You got a better shot at not having one if you can get them back to the table with the threat that they will have one. You can't walk in with not, nothing and expect anybody that. to get anything. We're not going to get that. We're not going to get the vote on the contract. Then we need to talk to our union. We, we need, need to talk to, to the union. Well, you can't strike your own union. Want to bet? All right. Well, then you come up and tell us how to do that. Come up with something. So tell your friends if they haven't seen uh, John's video, go to YouTube and type in the el sag sag elephant. Sag Elephant. Remember, the title is The Elephant in the Room. So, John Saigon, C-Y-G-A-N, uh, I'm right? Yep. You've, you've, you've given great service to the union by doing that. And I and I hope you'll you'll come up with a response to David, what's his name? Well, I didn't, you know, the reason I didn't, just, just briefly, the reason I didn't respond to David is because I, I don't want to get into a dueling war. We've got 28,000 hits on ours, I think, or maybe 23,000. He's got, uh, I think, 2,000 and change. So the minute I engage him, now we're going back and forth. I will write him and tell him that his numbers are full, but if I actually make it a dueling video thing on the Internet, I'm helping him. I don't want to help him. I want to help us.
Can you just do a follow-up without okay, There is another it? disc. There's another elephant coming, and it's going to be specifically about this right now. The residuals, how they intend to take them away. I didn't want to make another one until after the negotiations to see if that was going to change. It's not going to change. They want, as you already heard here, they want to end residuals. They don't believe they should have to pay them anymore. Are they offering yeah. uh, increased amounts to take the residuals away? Or is that the no. The, 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 the last I heard on the internet, it's, uh, it's still 23 bucks. If you do a guest spot on a show, uh, you get $23 every six months. That's it. It's an insult. And that's after 17 days of free reruns, which they're going to get anyway. And you know what else they're not talking about? If you do a webisode, and that webisode turns into a webisode series, and that webisode series becomes successful, they can then take the webisode series and put it on the broadcast network. They're not talking about that. And Sony is doing it. I saw it in the well, paper. Well, they're either hiring somebody else, but, but there are a lot of kids right now signing non-union deals under this 15000 a minute 300,000 an episode deal right now yeah. that are signing contracts. My, I mean, my own agent has shown them to me and said, look, this kid has signed 150 bucks. Use in all media, anywhere in the known universe and beyond. With no we don't even get beyond. Okay? I mean, really. They want to own it outright. And if it's a success, oh, they'll put it on broadcast and they won't owe this kid a dime. Because he came from it in an interest, right? Because he signed it away. Exactly. And that's what they're trying to do. And so, between taking away residuals and starting their own non-union, you know, workforce right under our noses, exactly. we're not going to leave much of a union to our kids. You know, I got two kids that are carrying SAG cards. I don't know if I'm going to make my pension at the rate we're going. I know they're not going to make one. So, you know what, it, it, we, can't, we can't live with this. We can't live with it. It is the end of the union. Why the people, other people don't see this, I don't know. I am stunned that they don't. But there are people who are just living for themselves in the moment going, I'm working right now, don't mess with that. Right? And I think this kid, David Lawrence, is one of them. He's on a show. He's in a recurring role. He's probably getting 5000 a week, which is probably more money than he's ever understood in his life. I don't think shows are paying what they used to pay regulars. I know I worked for a lot more than that when I was a regular on the series. These days are gone. Everybody's getting scale, and they're taking it because, you know, they're people that have to take it. And so I'm sure he's not even making the kind of money he he's, you know, wants to make. And his future, he'll get sick of it. Believe me, all these people will get very sick of seeing their stuff running forever and ever and ever and everybody getting paid but them. Exactly. And so even David, we have to have his back because he doesn't get it. So we got to get it. Mm. And we got to fight for him and the rest of us. Well, and then there's a union here in 10 years. He'll become a producer. Maybe. <laughs> Yo, I'm going to talk all night.